All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakab, Wadash, the bonus to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone, and uh, peace and blessing to the elect of Israel. And uh, in this lesson, we're going to go into how, uh, you know, Esau, even so, the white man, you know, as we always go into his destruction, you know, as the time we're in right now is the end of his days, right, the last days being the end of this era, the era of wickedness, which is ran by the silver white man Esau Edom, all right, which uh, should just talk about the earth's been given into the hand of the wicked. All right, you know, who's the wicked? Read Malachi 1 and 4, it's Esau Edom. All right, so going into this punishment that's coming to him, he has a lot he has to pay for, you know, and really going to firstly how he stole the Lord's people and going into how not just he stole them, but he's trying to defile them, okay? He's trying to defile them with that chip, okay, the MOTB. You know, the Lord talks about, and the book of Relations talks about those virgins, all right? They were uh, undefiled, blameless in the sight of Yahweh Bashmashai because. Uh, again, they're faithful, you know, the wholesome true doctrine that they've been given, you know, really from the beginning, which is our law, such commandments of uh, the Lord. You know, this was supposed to make us separate, you know, but going into how we went off, we fell from our state. The Lord raised up uh, these devils, okay, these other nations as well, but in this captivity specifically, the Lord raised up so glad I mean, Esau eat them, you know. When Esau did, uh, he went above and beyond what he was supposed to do, as this man showed us no mercy, you know, the Lord said he was a little. Uh, rough with us, okay. But this devil, he went, he went far beyond what he was supposed to do, you know. So going to the what's coming, all right. He has to pay for what the Lord purchased for, okay. He had your father, he was sitting, he was shy, and he purchased the uh, uh, nation of Israel by his blood, you know. So again, going into how you know, I know brother got holding uh, that uh, was it uh, Numbers or Exodus about how he's stealing a man, okay. And we found your hands, all right. Surely he shall be put to death. Probably can start there, God. and then uh, get into that psalm, but. That's it, man. We're waiting for the Lord to, because uh, we're going back into redemption. Redem redeem means to buy, you know, to buy back, okay? You know, bought, be uh, brought back to what was purchased from the beginning, which again is the nation of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and redeeming us from our sins, you know? That's right. But yeah, good. Okay. Exodus chapter 21, verse 16. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Mm. So or he that stealeth a man and selleth him. Mm. All right, because this this devil sold us, all right, which really you go into the Lord, you know, um, you know, he said, well, he, still, he sold us for not, you know, well, we, he, you know, he's getting no benefit from us being in captivity besides us being stricken. And also the transatlantic straight, uh, uh, transatlantic, uh, slave trade in, uh, Joel, the third chapter. Yep. Uh, where it speaks about, uh, a boy for, yep, uh, a, boy for a harlot. Yep. yep. Uh, what it has out to do, uh, tire, uh, tire, you know, mm -hmm. okay, so. You, you you sold you sold the, the most precious people on the planet Earth, the, 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 like the brother said, the Alpha of the Most High's eye. Mm -hmm. Okay, you 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 stole the treasure of the Heavenly Father, bro. You don't think you gotta pay for that, bro? Okay, so the, this is backing the brother up, man. That's what we go. That's what we're hitting on in this lesson, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a vengeance. Okay, there is a redemption. Okay, there is all right a, 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 a buying back and a payback, man. Okay, the Lord is going to buy back His elect and pay you back with being with you being destroyed, man. Okay, mm -hmm. yep. Continue. Uh, Exodus twenty-one and verse sixteen. And he that stilleth a man and, and, him, man. and selleth him, <laughs> or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. Right. So this man's guilty. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Okay, that alone, that piece of right there, that that law right there alone condemns Esau. Hang him up. That's just one of them. He's supposed to be gone. Okay, you know, hung uh, like a hanging on the gallows. You know, stoned to death, whatever, out of the earth, because this that sin is still upon this man. Okay, and he never repented for it. Okay, that's why the Revelation 18 chapter says the sins of this place will reach up onto heaven. All right, there's no day of prayer. Okay, to Yahweh in this in this land, there's no uh, a day of repentance. Okay, this devil don't uphold none of the laws of the Lord. Okay, he does it in, 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 in uh, just for show, you know, it's a covering. All right, but he doesn't really uphold the, the words of the Lord. It says he hates instruction. He casts it behind him. Okay, you know that's why it says we just talk about the man of sin being revealed. Okay, and to say be no no marvel for the uh, devil or Satan himself has transformed transformed into an angel of light. You know, so again, this thing is, is very spiritual. But the Lord's getting ready to really show this whole time that His people have been in your hand. You know. And the world's gonna see, you know. Hey, can I say this real quick too? The scriptures say, uh, "What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, man?" Mm -hmm. This dude is literally declaring, 
all right, that he's right, uh, he's a so-called righteous when he inaugurate uh, the president, man. Okay, he's swearing in the president on the Bible, but that's used to uh, uh, to be a uh, pretty much a stumbling block, a stumbling block unto you Israelites, man. I don't give a damn about the Chinese man, believe, bro. It's for you Jakes to be the, the uh, 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 blinded, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because now they're getting ready to move away with uh move uh, move the, uh, the Bible to the side, man. You see, so. Mm -hmm. so uh, that was it on that? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh, get that Jeremiah. Kind of. It's the book of Jeremiah 50, verse verse 33. It reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai of hosts, the children of Israel. Yeah, the northern tribes, the Latino, Native American tribes. Go ahead. And the children of Judah. Yep, you southern kingdom tribes. Okay, you know, Judah, you know, so called African Americans. Okay, you got uh, a Levi and you got Benjamin, you know, the uh, so-called West Indian, West Indies and, and, and Haitians, you know. Uh, go ahead. It reads on, it says, we're oppressed together. Like, oppressed together. When is the last time have Israel and Judah been oppressed together? Ancient Egypt, right? Back in ancient Egypt, that was the last time we've been oppressed together. Uh, Northern tribes, they've been gone since the Syrian captivity. But over here to the New World, all right, uh, here in the Western Hemisphere, and then waited for Judah to get brought over here however many a thousand years later as a whole okay you know of course we're scattered throughout the four corners of the earth but the main uh, spec is on so-called america all right being babylon the great because again the lord's jewels and majority of his people live here in captivity together on the so-called white man he saw eden so who, so who did this you know who did this what does this fit as far as the people on planet earth who fits that prophecy all right you keep on reading it goes into more detail and it's because it goes into he's not going to let us go right and that what does that sound like it sounds like Pharaoh on ancient Egypt, okay, mm -hmm. you know, but that's why we say a greater deliverance is coming, you know. Come on. It reads on, it says, the children of Israel <laughs> and the children of Judah were, were oppressed together, right. and all that took them captives held them fast, they refused to let them go. Yep, so all, okay, so the majority of that bulk is Esau, Edom, but these <clears throat> other nations as well are, are part of that too, you know, the so-called Chinese, the so-called Japanese, okay, so-called, uh, uh, East Indians, okay, you know, and so on and so forth. Them Hamites, so-called Africans, so-called Africans, mm -hmm. all right, you know, they have to pay because it says, who have not gotten a hand or sport? Who have not uh, pretty much uh, afflicted uh, the Lord's people, okay? You know, all throughout the four corners of the earth, the Lord's people are catching help, okay, because they fell from their state. Real quick, back you up. Ezekiel 35, verse 6, <laughs> Therefore, as I live, said the Lord, power, Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. All right, so blood is going to pursue you, devils, man. Okay, because even till this day, and what you have prepared for the nation of Israel, which is blood, man, being shed, man. Okay, with Jacob's trouble, who's going to be the head? Who, who is the sword that is furnished? Esau, Edom, man. What were you blessed with? You were blessed with the sword. So since you have not hated blood, okay, blood is going to pursue you, my man. All right. And the Lord is preparing uh, uh, the elect, okay, all right, to uh, to 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 overtake you, man, overcome. The scripture say that the the, uh, the kingdom, uh, uh, what's that? Daniel seven. The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom, all right. So once you come down with that, with your wrath, the Lord is going to lift up the standard, man. Okay, is is hey, bro, bro, we gonna get down, man. Lord's will be those men. Okay, the standard is going to be lifted. The same man who you wanted to, uh, you, 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 you put down and you, 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 you know, you ridicule on a daily basis, man. You take down their uh, videos, medical misinformation. He lifted up, man. Uh, going back in uh, Jeremiah 50, uh, 30, 33. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. Yep. So again, you know, going to what we just read about how if he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, shall get he shall be put to death. That's why we're still here because this is a witness against Esau. You know, him being that fugitive and vagabond. You know, it's really the elites. All right, but you will, it trickles down. Okay, the benefits of us going into captivity and, and being our in our position right now. The other nations have uh, profited off of it. But who profited most? Esau, Edom, so the white men. Those uh, false uh, Jews in our land, okay, you know, those are the ones that really benefit from it. 
You know, they're the ones that purchased these cargo slave ships and grabbed us up. They knew exactly who we were. You know, we're going into privacy. We fell away. Okay, we lost our heritage. We, uh, heritage been beaten out of us. Okay, it talks about him, old destroyer of my heritage. It's talking about Esau. You know, but we've been waking up the Holy Spirit. You know, again, uh, going to privacy to again uh, be a witness against Esau, even to a white man to testify against him. You know, and, and, and give this testimony, which is the spirit of prophecy. You know, I got a quick precept. Uh, Amos one and eleven. It reads, <clears throat> "Thus saith the Lord Yahweh, for three transgressions of Edom, and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof, because he did pursue his brother." with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever yeah. all right hey that's Esau Edom all right he's getting ready to be punished all right beyond measure all right the how about Shemiah is about to give this man nothing but just pure agony okay and uh what it says what and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and that's what you see what he's been doing all right from the time of what the uh uh, uh, slave Atlantic uh, uh, slave trade. All right, you see him how he um, how he did uh, the the nation of Israel. Okay, how he uh, basically he tortured them. All right, uh, beat their uh, their uh, heritage out of them. Okay, but all these things are coming up upon him, and the Lord is saying he's not going to be able to come away from that uh, that punishment that's getting ready to come towards him. Yeah, kind of. Hey, it's a post that uh, one of the brothers has uh, shared mm -hmm. of uh, Esau uh, slitting uh, the womb of, uh, of the woman. One, one of the women. Yeah. And saying who would die first, okay, the woman or the or, or the child, man, perpetual, okay, being a, a hatred that would endure forever. It's not going to end unless the Lord put an end to it, man. And that's what the Lord is getting ready to do: put an end to that hatred of Esau Edom, man, uh, towards Israel by destroying him, because he was made to be destroyed. That's why he is able to live it up. That's why he's able to have the fa uh, the, the the fashion. Okay, bro, he's getting ready to be destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. Fuck this nigga in this world, man. Right. All right, let's do this work, man. Finish the work, man. All right, because we're getting ready to live forever, bro. Death is not comparable to immortality, man. Get that song to me, boy. No, no, that's it. Death is, death is not comparable to immortality, man. You know, we're getting ready to live forever, bro. Got it. All right, just the book of Psalms 74 at the top, verse 1. O power... Why hast thou cast us off forever? Yeah, I mean, forever meaning a time period. You know, when you catch an affliction, it feels like forever. It feels like a long ass time. You know, it says uh, in the in affliction, thou forgettest prosperity. For paraphrasing, you know, mm -hmm. so we forgotten. You know, our, our old glory that we had. Okay, you know, again going to being a nation of kings and priests. You know, we 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 lost that. You know, so going to our captivity. You know, it, it feels like forever, man. All here, you know, going into this you know, work that we're doing. You know, you know, passing us on down. Okay, you know, these days it feel like a long time because we're we're anticipating, we're constantly watching, so it feels like longer for us, you know, because again we're in our affliction, you know. But that's what again, uh, and this is remember, this is a song, you know. So back then when we were in our in our sovereignty, we were still crying to the Lord, you know. So how much more now in our captivity, you know? It reads on. It reads. It says, "Why doeth thine anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Remember." Thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old. Yep, I'll read that again. Go, 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 go. I'll go back at verse one. Right, 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 right. The is like this. It says, uh, O power, why hast thou cast us off forever? Why doeth thine anger smoke against the sheep of thy pasture? Yep, the sheep of the Lord's pasture, which, you know, Yahushua came to gather, you know. He said, uh, I'm the good shepherd, you know. The good shepherd laid down his life for his sheep, you know, and that's what he did. You know, so again, going to what this devil's trying to do, he's trying to steal the Lord's people again, trying to put us in captivity again. He didn't learn. We just read earlier, he cast off all pity. Pity means compassion. This man don't show no compassion towards us, and these other nations don't either. They're not going to ask how we're doing and you go back and be prosperous and be where you've been. They're going to keep lying to us and pumping this bullcrap to our people. He wants control over the spirit now, man. And he got Jake, he got Jake under, uh, and you know, he got Jake when it comes down to finances. It, it, Jake, he, he wants control over the spirit now, man. But you can't put the spirit in the box. And that's something that Yahweh Shem Shai has given unto us, man, the spirit of truth, which the world cannot receive, man. Okay? He, you can't get that, bro. I'm sorry. And the election have obtained that, man. Okay? 
So now it's time for your how about me outside to work, man. Miracles, man. Power, spiritual power, divine intervention, man. Bro, spiritual power is getting ready to be shown on the planet Earth, bro. You know? This is that time. You getting ready to be exposed as the devil, this is that time, man. Okay? Where the right, that right, that right hand is getting ready to come. You got it up. Going back in Psalm 74, uh, verse 2, it says, Remember thy congregation, which thou hast purchased of old. Yep, purchased of old from the beginning. You know, so that's why I'm going into predestination. It's already been said in the heavens who is who and who is not, you know. That's why I really go into again the time now is about the elect, because as we were saying, point for the elect's sake, no flesh should be saved. The Lord would just be pissed off like it was back then in the book of Genesis when he flooded the earth. But who found grace inside the Lord? Noah, you know. So the elect found grace inside of Yahweh Bash that he didn't destroy his creation that he made, including his people, you know. So again, they're going to the beautiful story the Lord has about how he's getting ready to redeem his woman. He's about to get back his woman. You know, Revelation uh, the 12th chapter says uh, the dragon was wroth with the woman. You know, and made war against uh, them that keep the commandments of the Lord. You know, so really his beef is with the elect. You know, but Esau's calling. He just wants to consume the whole nation. You don't got time to divide and, you know, try to decipher who's who because he's a carnal man. So we're going to try to get all of us. That's why going to Tom Jacob's trouble, all you so-called New Latin Americans are in danger. You know, so that's why it's called the time of Jacob's trouble. And if you don't have that hedge of protection, you don't have your hedge, you're going to be spoiled. You know, and our hedge is Yahweh Bash Tribe. We, we run and cry unto his name, uh, going into what, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4. Those that sign cry for the abominations that be done in the midst of the world, the Lord gave us back our voice. And what we do, we lift up our voice and spare none. Okay, we, we cry out to the Lord because, again, we're crying out to our husband. You know, we need help. This devil's about to try to defile us. You know, we're espoused to one husband. We're promised to the Lord. You know, so he's trying to he's trying to cut that connection off. He's being adulterous, being covetous. He's breaking all the laws. You know, and this man's not gonna get away with that. You know, yeah. um, you can stop there. That's 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 it on that because he's going into the, the what he's been. Uh, redeem, you know, the we begin the, the second verse. Oh, uh, purchase verse of like purchase of old, you yeah, know, purchase of old, you know. So, uh, going to what, um, Ephesians, the first chapter, you know, going into, um, how the Lord's gonna pretty much, uh, matter of fact, just grab that, get, um, uh, Ephesians 1, and, uh, the point is, I think, like, uh, may, maybe, maybe 12. Uh, the, the point is like 14. Uh, okay. Yeah, get, forget, forget the point, verse 14. All right. <clears throat> it's, the yeah, book, yeah. All right it's the book of uh, Ephesians 1 and 14, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the... Matter of fact, go up a slot. Go up. Uh, that should be praise and glory. All right. Go to 12, because it's, it's a lot. But go to 12 and then read down to 14. Okay. Con, it's the book of Ephesians 1 and 12. It reads, it says, that we should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Hamashiach. Yep, so that's, the, again, the, the elect, those that first trusted because they're going to the first fruits. These are the first spirits created, so, of course, their natural connections may be toward their maker. You know, as time goes on, you know, with the, the, the tribulation and things the Lord has set for our people, uh, Jake just has a lack of faith, you know, but the elect always had the faith. was going to that a little bit yesterday uh, in camp, you know, how it's created in the favor from the womb, you know, so this game is rigged. You know, so again, going into the beginning, you know, it says uh, pretty much a refreshing, you know, this, this world's getting ready to get a, get a righteous world reset. And it starts with his people being back on top under the Lord, Yahweh, Shine. Verse 13. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of truth. Exactly. The gospel of our salvation. Yep. So that's why Yahweh Shai said, when this gospel shall be preached up the four corners of the earth, guess what? The end's going to come because these men have been activated. And once their faith's been activated, they've been re-educated and come back into that remembrance, it's over with. Because the Lord always uh, came on to our rescue when we cried out unto him. This devil wanted to cover our mouth, okay, block our eyes, cover our ears. But the Spirit of the Lord can't be uh, can't be stopped, you know? See, it reads on. It says, <clears throat> In whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed. Ooh. With that Holy Spirit of promise. So sealed means to say you can't open when you, something that's sealed, you can't open it back up. Okay, you know that. So again, go you think about opening a a, a, a bottle. You know, once the seal's broke, it's it, you can't trust it no more. Okay, yeah. it, it's 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 uh that's the point of the seal. Okay, it's it's a sign that's saying hey, this is brand new. Okay, you know this is this is uh, legit. This is what it is. You know, but if it's open, it's tampered with. You can't trust a product like that. You know, you put it back on the shelf. You know. 
And but again, going to the elect being sealed, think about that, all right? That you can't unseal the elect, okay? You're not opening up the, the bottle of the elect, opening up their minds for you to start, uh, you know, making them believe on you again in this world and all the lies they've been growing up to believe. Again, it's all uh, according to love, y'all, Bashar Shai, that we're opening up the last days because this is getting to be fulfilled fully, you know, once the elect really is sealed, we're gonna, which it already is, and we're gonna get beaten up out here in Lord's War. Reads on. <clears throat> it says, uh, yeah, for, uh, oh, 14. 14. It says, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession yep. unto the promise, that's a lot, unto the praise of his glory. Yep, so our earnest uh, inheritance, you know, uh, this is what, you know, something in your heritage is passed down, you know, so we, in order, that's why going to the time we're coming into, we have to get through the straight and narrow before we can get into that. Inheritance, and the only way we can enter in is through Yah Bashar Shah through that name, you know. So that's why, again, going to how this devil cannot stop the show, okay? The show is gonna go on and it's gonna continue on, it's gonna go again as the Lord planned it, which it goes into the salvation of his, his people, you know. Uh, get the um, get the Luke 18 and then we can wrap it up. Um, yeah, that was 18 and 7. 18 and 7? Yeah, about how the Lord's gonna avenge his uh, elect. Luke chapter 18 verse 7 And shall not the Most High avenge his own elect mm -hmm. which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them mm -hmm. uh, get uh, numbers 3 and 13 you know because you know these these again these special souls belong to the Lord okay and, and again no one no one can take that from the Lord you can't pluck them out of his hand you know get it uh, uh, numbers this, 3 and 13 this the uh, book of numbers 3 and 13 it says because all the firstborn are mine. Yep, all the first firstborn. So going into the law, okay, we'll keep reading. It reads on, it says, For on the day that I smote all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I hallowed unto me all the firstborn in Israel, mm -hmm. both man and beast, mine they shall be. Mm -hmm. I am Yahweh. Yep, so that's why I read in Malachi, the third chapter, it says he's going to make up his jewels, okay? You know, they are, they are, they belong unto the Lord, okay? So, again, you can't cut that process off. That belongs unto the Lord. So, it's being Monday, Egypt, okay? It's the same thing. The first fruits belong unto the Lord. And those are the first fruits of the Spirit. Let's just say, which is Yahweh Shai, the firstborn of many brethren, okay? The the rest of the elect follow through, you know? Every man is on order. Uh, but, yeah, you can get that now. Come, verse 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. Exactly. So that faith, you know, that's that token of your virginity, you know, uh, your faith in the Lord. Okay, you, you, you took heed on to his doctrine. You told you told it and, and, and did what you're supposed to do as far as uh, if you're a prophet, you know. But that just, again, being a living example of what to be, you know, because this is what we're born to be. We're children of the Lord, you know. But do we catch this resistance because we're in the flesh? You know, it's because we're not of this world. You know, but the Lord is soon enough is going to put us in a body that's worthy to hold our spirit so we can be perfect and fall into that second covenant. You know, going to law, statutes, commandments, being on the inward parts. You know, so again, there's a lot in store for our people. You know, but the, the plan and the agenda of the, this world is not going to come to pass. You know, as there's many devices or, uh, in, a, in a man's heart, but the counsel of the Lord, that's going to stand. You know, and the counsel of the Lord is gonna, that's going to stand is, again, us being raised up in these last days to be ultimately saved. You know, and the rest of the nation of Israel as well after they, after they perish on this side. You know, so that's why what Revelation 14 chapter talking about that new song, all right? You know, only 144,000, only 144,000 do that song, all right? You know, that's the song we're singing, okay? The song of salvation, the song of praise, you know, onto our power because we're getting ready to do great and marvelous things for his people starting now, man, very soon, 2022, man, the, the year of the Lord turning up, you know? So um, uh, with that, uh, those words be edifying. I'm going to give all praises uh, to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahushai, Ba'ashim, Ka'kodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.